extraordinary Earth. GMA is reporting on climate change wherever it takes us. And this morning, Amy is live from the Galapagos, a first for US TV. She's going to show us the stunning sights, beautiful animals, and why some are under threat. Good morning to you, Amy. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. Yes, we came all the way to the Galapagos Islands because climate change is impacting the delicate balance of life here. We arrived here on Floriana Island right at sunrise, and we were greeted by these majestic flamingos. And that's how it's been over the past few days, island hopping, seeing creatures, some of which are only found here in the Galapagos, just as interested in us as we are in them here on land and below the water. The Galapagos Islands is one of the most unique places on Earth. With pristine wildlife largely untouched by human civilization. But underneath the waves, it feels like a different planet. Snorkeling off the island of Española, I was greeted by baby sea lions. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cool. One of the species most vulnerable to a warming ocean as curious and innocent as puppies looking right at us, some seeming to perform for us. The archipelago straddles the equator, but surprisingly, life here is dependent on cold water. Currents bring nutrient-rich cold water from Antarctica, rising to the surface as it collides with islands, supporting the entire food chain. But as water warms, that cold water doesn't make it to the surface. And without those nutrients, fish and algae die off, and animals that feed on them face starvation. In the afternoon, we hike more than a mile across rocky terrain to a blowhole. <sighs> Where marine iguanas cover the beach. These colorful reptiles can only be found in the Galapagos, seen swimming through the water and onto the rocks. The species now becoming a barometer of climate change. They're perfect environmental indicators. They can tell you how healthy an environment is by looking at their numbers. They're specialized reptiles. They specialize in only feeding on green algae. They cannot digest brown algae or other species of algae. But there's a problem with the water becoming warmer and having more extreme temperatures among some of the temperature waters here, the green algae disappears. El Nino seasons, which used to happen about every 10 years, can supercharge warming, catastrophically reducing the food supply temporarily. These remarkable creatures ward off starvation by shrinking, their skeletons getting up to 20 to 30 percent smaller to survive with less until the El Nino subsides and cooler water returns. Now global warming is making El Nino years more frequent and more intense. It is just remarkable to watch these wild animals in their natural habitat. You're looking there at a flock of flamingos. There are about 500 of them here on these islands. And you know, guys, I've had a lot of firsts here swimming with sea lions yesterday. And today, look, I'm actually doing my first barefoot live shot. Uh, we had to make a little bit of a rough water landing this morning. And so, you know, you got to do what you got to do when you're in the Galapagos. We have a busy day ahead of us. We're going to be kayaking with green sea turtles and snorkeling with white tip reef sharks. So, um, yeah, a lot of firsts. That'll definitely be a first for me. I'm looking forward to it. Just another day in the office, guys. <laughs> yeah, just another day in the office for you, Amy. And we're so looking forward to having you there all week long for us. Enjoy. Enjoy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.